Have you ever wondered about our Fall Creek military history? Or just about wars? If you ever let your mind wander when you see a veteran and want to know where they served? Or just know a brief overview about wars? We will answer most, most of these questions, questions in this documentary. World War I, there were two sides. Allied powers and the Central powers. The Allied powers had France, Russia, Britain, and the 1917 United States. In 1917, the United States joined the war because of a German submarine sunk a British ship. There were 128 Americans on that ship. Germany said that they would sink any ship that came close to Britain. We do it to bring peace to Europe. In all, 8 million soldiers died. 21 million were injured. It ended by a general armistice on November 11th. World War II started on September of 1939 when Germany attacked Poland. The United States did not join until the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. There were 70 million deaths in World War II, but for the U.S. there was 407,000 military deaths and 12,000 civilian deaths, which means altogether there were 420,000 deaths. The Holocaust was a horrible part of World War II that involved killing 6 million Jews. In Fall Creek, they had World War II ration books for food, gas, and coffee. On June 25, 1950, the Korean War started when 75 thousand soldiers from North Korea crossed the 38th parallel. In July, American troops joined with South Korea because they didn't want Russia to gain any more land. During this war, about 5 million soldiers and civilians died overall. Just out of the U.S., there were 33,652 casualties or deaths in battle. There still is North and South Korea in the 38th parallel, so this war really didn't solve anything. The Vietnam War started on November 1st, 1955. The nations in the war were the U.S., Communist North Vietnam, and South Vietnam. The Vietnam War started after the French lost the battle against Vietnamese in 1954. The U.S. joined the war to stop Communists from spreading into Southern Asia. South Vietnam and U.S. were allies in the war. There were 58,220 deaths recorded. On January 25th, 1973, the two countries agreed on a ceasefire treaty. In 1975, South Vietnam also surrendered to North Vietnam. It was very important to get letters from home, from your, especially from your friends, because they, they would tell you a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that your mom and dad wouldn't tell you. And uh, you, you like to know how, the, how your team was doing at, at home. And, and if they were building any roads, or if you got any new grocery stores or anything. Because even though you're away, you still want to know what's going on at home. In August 1990, Saddam Hussein, leader of Iraq, ordered an invasion against Kuwait. Fellow Arab powers such as Saudi Arabia and Egypt called on the U.S. as well as other Western nations to help. They called out of fear and shock of the invasion. Americans and their allies only lost 292 soldiers, while 30,000 Iraqi soldiers died. Iraq made a withdrawal because America ran them out of Kuwait. The Iraq War started in 2003. The U.S. Army started an invasion in Iraq because Saddam Hussein was in Iraq and he wouldn't leave. We started the invasion to capture him. They wanted to capture him because he was said to be making weapons of mass destruction. Many of the U.S. allies joined forces and launched an attack on Iraq. 4,486 U.S. deaths were recorded. There were also 31,952 wounded soldiers. Saddam was captured, put on trial, and was executed. The war ended when the war slowly had less fighting in 2007. By 2011, the U.S. made a withdrawal. The Afghanistan War started in 2001. The participants were Al-Qaeda, Afghanistan, America, and the Taliban. So far, there have been 2,378 deaths and 3,366 wounded. The 9-11 attack is what brought us to the Afghanistan War. There are also some Fall Creek Afghanistan veterans. 
This world is so gone. So I really enjoyed it. I, I, I do not have any real complaints that 